We'll try to answer um, the questions that we formed in the beginning today. So now that we have collected and cleansed the data, we're going to begin our data analysis. So just to recap, here are the questions we want to answer. In order to increase our sales, we want to hire more salespeople. In which location should we invest to build up our sales team? We want to show our top 10 customers our appreciation by sending them a gift card that has $500 in store credit. Which customers should we send it to? We want to decrease the number of products that we offer. Which products should we discontinue? You can look for this original post in Story by Data to find the data set that was used. It's called the Global Superstore Dataset. So let's begin by analyzing our world of data and identifying which data points we need to analyze in order to answer the questions asked by the client. So here's our world of data. It's basically the column headers or categories that we can work with. So the first question, we can actually include additional data for this analysis. So here's my thought process. One way that I think we can determine where to add salespeople is to assess the ratio of the sum of sales for the country divided by the total population of the country. So basically, if the ratio is low, then we can invest in, um, and hire additional salespeople in that location. So please note that this is a fictitious example and there are several, several other factors that go into deciding where to add salespeople. This is for example only. So we can actually download the additional data, the population data from data.un.org. And I downloaded the data and filtered on the year 2015 because that's close to the data that we have on the global superstore data set. So basically we can recommend that the client invest in adding sales teams in the 10 countries that have the lowest ratio of sales to population. So we're gonna use sales and country we're going to bring in additional data. We're going to find country population, and we're going to divide the total sales of the country divided by the number of people in that country. Lower ratio means more sales opportunity, and we'll invest in building teams in the 10 countries with lowest ratio. All right, so I'm using Tableau for my analysis, and first I create a bar, bar chart that shows the sum of sales by country using our global superstore data. Then I created a chart of country and population from the, United, uh, from the UN. So the first thing I noticed when I did that was that we're missing data. For one reason or another, we don't have data for several countries, including, including Vietnam, United States, Turkey, Taiwan, Syria, and so on. We're actually missing 38 out of the 165 countries that we need population data for. So one thing I could do is I can Google the population for those countries and it's fairly easy to find out. But since this is a mock project with mock data to begin with, I just made up the numbers for population and I uploaded the data. I basically filled in the blanks and I uploaded this new spreadsheet called population and I uploaded it to Tableau. Then what happened was I connected our data. So our global superstore data connected with this new population data and I connected on country because that's a field that they have in common. So I created a, a formula, sum of sales divided by sum of population. This gives us the ratio that we're looking for. These here are the 10 countries with the lowest sales to population ratio. And this is where we're recommending that um, the client invest in sales teams. So the second question is in around finding the top 10 customers in order to send them gift cards. We need to identify customers um, the top 10. So how do we do that? One way to do this is who are the most profitable customers? So what we can do is find customers with highest profits. We'll look for customer name and we'll use profit. And we can use the formula of sum of profit divided by sum of sales. And if you actually create a set in Tableau of the top 10 customers by profit ratio, you can get to your answer of a list of top 10 customers by profit ratio. These are the top 10 customers that we're gonna recommend the client send gift cards to. For the third question is, we want to decrease the number of products that we offer. Which products should we discontinue? So here we need to assess the profitability of the products to highlight the, which ones we can discontinue. So similar to our exercise in question two, we can use the profit ratio to, to determine how, pro, pro, how profitable are the products. 
So we're going to use product name and profit. And here's the output. We actually identified that 677 products out of the 3,000 almost 800 products that exist are not profitable. That means the profit ratio is less than zero. We can recommend that the client discontinue these products. Now we can actually build our visualization and we need to keep in mind that initially the client wanted drill down and filter capabilities. So we can select several data points on which to drill down and filter. A few options for drilling down is getting to customer or product level. And we can add filters for other, uh, order date, we can use it for um, segment, product categories, and so on. Thank you for watching part two of our Global Superstore project.